I was reading articles online and I seen a story about a restaurant that is soon to be opening in Baltimore that has a dress code policy that a lot of people online are screaming that it's racist. It's racist. So I thought it was interesting. So I wanted to go read uh, their rules uh, about their dress code and their policy. Now, a lot of places out there, nightclubs, bars, restaurants, they have a dress code. Many places do. Uh, if you have your own business, if you want only people to wear uh, shirts and ties, they can do that. It's it's their business. But uh, let's see what they're talking about here. Uh, okay. No excessively baggy clothing. Uh, pants must be worn at the waist. No shorts below the knee. Seems reasonable. Uh, no offensive, vulgar, or inappropriate attire. No athletic attire unless it's a game day, whether the Orioles or, or the Ravens are playing. No brimless headgear. Oh, here we go. That's racist. Huh? Bandanas and beanies and do-rags. You know, only one type of person wears that stuff. Ghetto people. Backwards or sideways hats. Uh, yeah, there's only a certain type of person that wears a hat to the side. Usually troublemakers. Thugs. Uh, work and construction boots. Uh, I think we could forget about that because I don't think none of these guys on the list so far are waking up at 4.30 a.m. to go to a construction job. So I think we could just scratch that off the list. Uh, no sunglasses after dark. Um, well, you know, you, you need to look cool. I, I don't agree with that. Uh, what if you want to wear sunglasses at night? Uh, you, you've been smoking weed uh, all night and you've been sleeping all day. You know, you, you got to hide those red ass eyes of yours. You know what I'm saying? And finally, no children or young adults uh, under 21 after 10 p.m. Okay, listen. Um, I'm not sure where race plays a role in this. I guess the people that are screaming online that it's uh, racist and they're going to tell all their friends not to go to the restaurant. I'm sure the restaurant doesn't really care because the restaurant is trying to attract a certain uh, demographic of people. And if you uh, don't fit their criteria, they don't want nothing to do with you. And that's okay. If they don't want your business, don't go. If they don't want your business, don't worry about it. If they don't want you coming in there wearing a New York Knicks jersey, then go home and put on a shirt. Or better yet, how about you let capitalism decide if they stay afloat or they sink under and just don't go. Why is it up to you? Why, why, why do you have to to uh, clutch your pearls and virtue signal that, oh, that's racist. No, maybe they want a certain image. Maybe they don't want or want to attract uh, ghetto ass people to the restaurant. Oh, ghetto ass people, that's racist too, ghetto ass people. Well, you're being racist because normally when people think about ghetto people, they think of only one color and that's black, which in actuality, ghetto comes in all kinds of color. I've seen ghetto ass people that are as white as white can be. I've seen ghetto ass people whiter than Sean King. They're out there. There's not many, but they're definitely out there. So if a white guy goes into that restaurant wearing a New Jersey Nets jersey with his hat cocked sideways, guess what? They don't care if he's white or he's black or he's Asian. They're gonna tell him, hey, you gotta go. This is a casual dining restaurant and we have an image to uphold. And again, if you don't like it, don't go at the end of the day. If you don't like something, don't go, don't do it, don't give them your money. Hell, their food probably sucks anyways. Who cares? Why is it such a big deal to you to be, to, to, for somebody to have to accept your ghetto culture? Okay, at the end of the day, nobody cares. Go somewhere else, go to McDonald's, go get Grubhub, have them bring the food to you. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Anyways, I'm Black Bigot, and you're not.